Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira Roadmaps tutorial, we will understand how you can create a new plan in Jira Advanced Roadmaps. Before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud, such as Octo a plug and play component management tool to help you structure issues in Jira, release native component versions and track work progress while collaborating across projects. Check the link or description below for more on Octo. Thank you. So let's get started. Now, in order to create a new plan in Jira Advanced Roadmap, as we have already understood in the previous tutorial, how we can enable Advanced Roadmap in Jira Cloud. So if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, go ahead and watch it. Once you will enable Advanced roadmap you'll take that subscription you will see this plans tab here so just click on it and we'll cl click on create a plan okay so click on create plan and we'll cover some of the key details that you need to understand in the creation of the plan okay so first thing is creating the plan name or providing the plan name so I will say RCV Academy plan and in terms of access you can keep it private wherein you can only view the plan and you can share it with the individuals that you want to share with so individual or group you want to share with if it is open it can be viewed and edited with the users so all advanced users all advanced roadmap users will be able to view and edit the plan if you are keeping it open however you can restrict that access later as well okay so we'll keep it open so that everyone else can access it in terms of issue sources what exactly is issue sources so in this particular plan advanced roadmap plan what all issue sources you want to consider where from where the issues will be considered or picked up in this particular plan so usually in the portfolio level planning you will be having multiple projects right so ideally you will be choosing the issues from multiple projects and say for example you are a portfolio lead and want to see how the overall team is progressing and the overall portfolio work is being going on this is where you should be creating the plan and choosing the issue sources accordingly now in the issue sources you can choose the board project and filter project is very common because whatever issues are there in project you can choose those issues right so you just choose the project and you choose the project from the drop down you can also choose the board so there are project boards so depending on what issues are there on the board right so you can basically choose those issues in terms of filter if you have created a filter for a particular project specific to the portfolio requirement say for example as a portfolio lead you only want to filter the epic for a particular project right so you create a filter which filters all the epics for a project and then you use those filter basically for those particular project right so any filters that you have saved previously you can filter you can create or choose those filters here as of now the most common one project as a portfolio lead I'll choose some of the project now please note that at this point of time while I'm recording this video only company managed projects are supported in the advanced roadmap as you can see so team managed projects are not yet supported it might be supported in future releases of Jira okay so let's choose the roadmap for the company managed and as soon as you will choose you, you can choose the another one in the other sources you can choose the, the project board or filter and you can choose the combination right so I can choose the board say for example I'll choose the board for the next one and then for the third one I'll choose the filter okay and then I'll add say just uh, any other procurement pro procurement project right so you'll see that I have chosen different issue sources and the filters or board or basically the project depending on the issue sources and you can keep adding those sources then there is something which is called refine issue display which is exclusion rules that you can set so if you click on set exclusion rules then you can exclude certain issues in the project depending on what you don't want to see in the or which issues you don't want to see in the portfolio right in the portfolio plan so you can exclude any completed issues after you know like 30 days or exclusion uh, issue type so I don't want to include any of the bug in my portfolio right in my advanced roadmap plan then I don't want to use uh, or track any of the statuses which are say for example requested or to do so you can choose accordingly right so this is just to give you an example or just that how you can 
basically exclude statuses issue types or even the releases okay once you have selected all of that you are happy with the details that you have selected here you can simply click on create and it will create the new plan for you so let's see how the plan looks like once the plan has been created okay so first time when you create the plan you can go through the tour so if you are very new you can you know get started and see what all things that you can navigate to so i'll skip that as of now so you can go to the learn more as well okay and go to the more details so however as the new plan that we have created now you can see the name of the plan okay the roadmap views different roadmap views are there okay so you you can see now this particular roadmap or advanced roadmap gives you a lot of advanced functionalities as compared to the basic roadmap that we have looked at right so here if you see we have a different level of issue so here you'll see that we have uh, the view settings so we'll go to the view settings and you can see the statuses etc however let's quickly see the details in the top level planning okay so this the current view is the basic planning let's go to the top level planning and once you select the top level planning you will see that you will get the details as per the project right so we have this this project then we have this company managed project and then we selected certain boards and filters which is nothing but different you know like projects or they were part of the these these two projects okay if we want to go ahead and add more projects say for example in this plan we'll go to the ellipses here we'll go to the configure right and we go to the issue sources again and say for example i want to add few more projects there okay so let's add rcv procurement is there demo i'll add and then another project company managed and then the recruitment okay so all of them have been selected and if i'll choose the project there is no other project that is there in my instance so it will choose it will show me the blank list as soon as you select all of that okay so once i have updated this then if i go to the back to plan now we'll see all of the projects that i have supported or i have selected are available here in my advanced roadmap plan right so recruitment is there this demo is there and the ones that are not shown that means those projects that don't have any of the issues that were being planned as part of that project and that is why you are not able to show or you are you are not able to see any of these issues which are showing without a parent then that means these issues are not associated with any of the epic or parents okay so you can clearly see what all projects are there in your plan right so you are a portfolio lead or manager then at that level what all epics are there in a particular project how the teams have planned so if you'll see that this is what the planning has been done for this particular team right so as the teams will plan their work at the portfolio level you will be able to see how the teams are progressing and you will have a single point or single source of truth for all the work item that has been planned okay the other important thing is if there are team level dependencies now say for example rcv recruitment project which i'll cover i'll create a new sort of project and and uh, the epics in new projects and then we'll cover a complete scenario but i can also have the dependency management across different teams right so say for example this is one of the issues okay that i want to plan so this particular issue doesn't have any of the start date so to choose a start date i can simply click on the start date column here and say for example i want to start start this on 30th september and it should get finished by 7th of october so that updation of the date has been done right now because i'm in the advanced roadmap i can have the dependency management within the advanced roadmap so in order to add the dependency if you hover over on any of the issues so if, say for example this particular portal registration issue needs to finish before the candidate hiring for test analyst role needs to start then we simply drag and drop the dependency arrow and you will see that this highlighted red dependency appears right so the string doesn't appear but if you click on this dependency you will see that it has been added there and this red highlight shows that these are not aligning right because this needs to this is finishing on 4th of november and i'm saying this issue needs to start on 30th of september so which is not possible so we have to replan the work accordingly at the portfolio level so that the issues are aligned among the teams and the dependency is well managed 
right so these are this is very you know vast topic as such but it is not very tricky to understand when you are doing the high level planning as you are getting a single source of truth for your portfolio for different teams that are working then it becomes pretty easy for you to manage all of that dependency within the jira advanced roadmap if i highlight on any of the others you won't see that dependency link appearing right so any of the issues which have this dependency link you will see that this link icon appears but all others which which are not dependent you will see that nothing appears you can add those by clicking on the plus or by simply drag and dropping the arrows from one of the dependencies to the other issue item on the board okay so that's basically a brief introduction of creation of the plan in the advanced roadmap and how the advanced roadmap will look like so this is very basic we will cover a lot more detail in the upcoming tutorial about the advanced roadmaps in jira so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching